so if you would like to know how to get this bold, very bold, smoky eye, um, then carry on watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find it useful. The first thing I'm applying is the Bobbi Brown Black Eyeliner using a shading brush by Real Techniques. And I'm using the gel liner because this would be a great base instead of um, MAC Painty Paint Pot, but you can use groundwork from MAC. But you need to work really quickly because it will dry quite quickly. So get it onto your desired shape. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because you will be blending it out, but just get it to the shape that you want. Then taking a MAC 217, I'm just going to blend out those edges. And this is when I do one eye at a time, otherwise the gel liner will dry and you won't be able to blend it. So just do one eye blend and then the other eye and then blend. I'm just taking the same Real Techniques brush as before and applying it under my eye as well, but I haven't put any extra product on. This is just what's left over on the brush and just connect it with the top. Taking my CK1 colour palette in Smoking, I'm using the black and the shading brush as before and just applying this all over the black gel liner and this will make it more vivid, stay put for longer and just look that little bit more bold. Taking the 217 MAC brush again, I'm just going to blend out any more edges and just make it look a little bit neater. Using Smashbox Limitless Black Eyeliner, I'm just applying this to the outer corners on my waterline. And taking NYX's White Eyeliner, I'm applying this to the rest of the waterline. It will probably merge together in the ends, but it will make the inside corners of your eyes look bright and more awake. Taking a MAC 224 fluffy brush, I'm just going to fluff out and blend just a little bit more. You can never blend too much. So just keep blending away. And then using my MAC Select Cover Up in NW20, I'm applying this to my under eye areas to make it look brighter and so I don't look as tired. <laughs> then using my CK1 Colour Smoking Palette again and a MAC 213, I'm applying the highlighter shade under my brow bone. This again will just make your eyes look that little bit more awake. And then curl your lashes in time for the fake lashes. You have to curl them so that they blend in well with the fake ones. I'm then applying some Avon Super Shock mascara, just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm applying this one, <laughs> that's my cat, I'm applying this one to the tops of my eyelashes. And then using um, Benefit's Bad Girl Lash on my bottom lashes. Because this is the travel size, I just find it easier to apply this mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm then applying some end lashes in Flirt with using the Duo Adhesive Lash Glue. Just once the lash glue is on the lashes, just let it set for about 20 seconds before applying. And then once they are on, just place them in the correct place and just pinch them together. I'm 
Then applying Max Desert Rose Blusher using a Real Techniques blusher brush and just applying this to the cheeks. <laughs> So that is it for this tutorial on how to get these bold smoky eyes. I hope you have enjoyed it and I shall see you next time. Bye!